Today I'm going to explain the movie called Splice from 2009. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. And I hope you enjoy it. At the beginning of the movie, we saw two scientists. They were husband and wife. One of them was Clive, and the other one was Elsa. Both of them were genetic scientists, which means they create new kinds of animals by experimenting with different species. They create new animals by crossing two different DNAs of two different animals. Both of them were also working with a medicine company. The name of that company was NERD. At first, they mixed two different DNAs to create a completely new animal. And after that, they made so many types of medicine from that new animal's protein. Recently, they created a new type of male creature, and it looked so strange. They had already created a female creature of that species, so they kept both of them in the same place. Both of the creatures fell in love with each other, which means they were successful with their experiment. After seeing this, they went to their boss. They told her that we have created a totally new kind of animal by mixing seven different DNAs. And with the protein of that new creature, we can develop so many different types of medicine. Along with that, we also invented a way to mix human DNA with animal DNA to create a hybrid creature with which we can develop more medicine. After hearing this, their boss told them that they were very happy about the experiment. But the company does not agree with you on the project about mixing animal and human DNA. And our company just wants you to develop medicine from the creature you guys created. That's why you guys need to quit all your experiments and focus on developing medicine. But Elsa told her, if we don't do this, then someone else will. Her boss replied saying, did I tell you we won't do it? Of course we'll do it. But before we do it, we need to develop medicine and sell it. After that, we will surely work on your project about mixing animal and human DNA. Their boss told them not to focus on the project right now. And that's why both of them were upset, because they were passionate about genetic engineering. That's why they decided to secretly keep their research going. And they started their experiment secretly, but they need the DNA of a human to keep the experiment going. Elsa brings someone's DNA to Clive, and he asks her whose DNA it is. Elsa admits she doesn't know. This is some unknown man's DNA. And then they started their experiment with the human DNA and the DNA of the creature they created. They were passionate about this experiment and worked hard for it, but they did not succeed. One day, Elsa brought another DNA and told him that this is the best DNA of all. We will do our experiment on this one. After that, they started their experiment on the DNA and the DNA of the creature. After much hard work, they were successful in mixing the human DNA and the DNA of the creature. Since the experiment was illegal, Clive didn't want to keep it going, but Elsa did not agree with him. She wanted to keep the experiment going, and that's why she went to another lab with the DNA. In that lab, there was medicine which could create an animal from DNA. Elsa put the DNA in the machine. Clive told her, we are doing very wrong. It's not a good sign to create something and then kill it. Elsa told him, many people die every day, and maybe we can save many lives from this experiment. That's why Clive agreed with her. They began their experiment, but the shocking fact is the fetus was supposed to grow up slowly, but it was growing up very fast. After checking it, they found out that it was a normal creature. But in the evening, suddenly the alarm of the lab rang. When they went there to check, they saw that the fetus had developed totally. It was trying to come out of the machine. They broke the machine to get it out. It was looking strange. Clive wanted to kill the creature, but Elsa told him we should not kill him now. Maybe we were successful with our experiment, but Clive didn't listen to her and he went to kill the creature. But when he went there, he saw that it was already dead. Clive left the lab. Elsa told him there's no possibility of any danger. She opened the box of the creature. When she checked it, she saw that the creature was not there. It was just his skin. And the creature is now roaming around somewhere in the lab. In the next scene, we saw the strange creature and it had two legs. Clive saw the creature on the CCTV camera and told Elsa to come out of the lab as soon as possible. I will kill it with poisonous gas. But Elsa didn't listen to Clive. She told that creature that, I will not harm you. Don't be scared. And then the strange creature came closer to her. It was not scared of her. But Clive came there with a rod in his hand to kill the creature. The creature got angry after seeing this. After that, Elsa and Clive came out of the lab. 
Clive told her that now he will put the poisonous gas inside the lab because he doesn't want to keep it alive. He wants to kill it. But Elsa tells him no again. We will just tranquilize it because she wants to see what she's created. They tranquilize the creature and do many tests on it. They found out that it was a female creature and it was growing up fast. And after some time, fully developing its body, it will die. Its lifespan is low. It was growing up very fast and developing itself. It was growing up his hands as well, and its brain was growing up at a very fast rate. Elsa was addicted to it. She started to feed her and teach her many activities. One day, Elsa gave it the alphabet and told it to arrange its name. But the creature wrote nerd with the alphabet. It was the name of the company. It wrote nerd because it was looking at it on Elsa's shirt. Elsa became happy after seeing this because now that creature was understanding everything. Clive came there and he does not like this creature at all. He told her, why did you take it out of the cage? Put it back inside the cage and you need to cover its tail. Actually, the creature had a very long tail. Elsa told Clive not to call it a creature. Then Clive said, what am I supposed to call it then? Elsa said you should call him Dren because he just wrote nerd with the alphabet and if you write it backwards, then it says Dren. One day, Clive's brother found Dren, and he wanted to know about its reality. Since they cannot keep Dren with them anymore, they sent it to their farmhouse. In the next scene, we saw that Elsa and Clive were about to do a presentation about the creature that they had made before. And when they were talking about the creature with the owner of the company, both of the creatures started to fight with each other, and both of them died because of it. Elsa and Clive were upset. They were researching the fight of the creatures, and they found out that the female creature had changed her gender on her own, and she became a male. That creature had the DNA of an animal who could change its gender. Elsa and Clive didn't know about it, since they were busy with their new experiment, Dren. Dren has grown big, but still Elsa treated it like a kid. She taught it everything. She loved her. One day, Dren ran away from the farmhouse and went to the forest. And when Elsa and Clive went outside to look for her, they saw that Dren was eating a rabbit. Elsa and Clive took her home and gave her food. But Dren didn't want to eat the food. She told her that she can't stay here in this boring place anymore, which was hard for Elsa to hear. Dren wrote tedious with the alphabet. In the next scene, we saw that Dren broke the window and went to the rooftop. Clive and Elsa also went after her, and they saw that Dren had wings. She was about to fly away from there, but then Clive stopped her and said, We love you. We need you. We will keep you with us. After hearing this, Dren's wings went inside her body. Dren's brain was totally developed now. She could understand everything. What's wrong and what's right. One day, Dren found a cat, but Elsa took the cat away from her because Elsa was scared of the fact that she might kill the cat. After that, we noticed a very surprising thing and it was that Dren started to fall in love with Clive. Therefore, Clive realized that when they mixed the human DNA with the creature's DNA to make Dren, it was actually Elsa's DNA. Clive got angry with Elsa. He told her that you shouldn't have done this. Slowly, their love for each other was coming to an end. Elsa gave that cat to Dren. Dren's tail had a pointy end, and Dren used her pointy tail and killed the cat with it. After seeing this, Elsa got mad at her. She slapped her in the face. After getting slapped by her, she got angry as well, and went outside after taking the key from Elsa's neck. After that, we saw many characters of Dren. In the next scene, we saw that Elsa succeeded in making the protein, and the company gave her this responsibility. And then one day, Clive saw Dren was shaking, and she was in the water. We noticed that Clive was falling in love with Dren. He touched the screen of his laptop. On the other side, Dren also touched the CCTV camera, which means she was touching Clive's hand through the camera because she knew that Clive was watching her. Clive was surprised after seeing this, and he went to Dren in the farmhouse. Clive came here alone. Elsa was not with him. Clive went there and called for Dren, but he could not see her anywhere. But when he looked back, he saw that Dren was standing behind him, and she spread her wings. Dren told Clive that she liked him very much. Clive told her, no, this is not right. But since Clive was in love with Dren, he couldn't control his feelings for her. But unfortunately, Elsa came there. Elsa felt bad after seeing them together, 
She got mad at them and left the farmhouse. After that, Elsa cut off the tail of Dren, since her tail had a very sharp nail, and she could kill anyone with it. Elsa was upset about it. In the next scene, we saw that Clive and Elsa were regretting their decision about creating Dren. They realized that they shouldn't have created this creature. Elsa told Clive that I've deployed the protein that the company asked me to. And Dren has that protein in her body in a very large quantity. They decided to kill Dren. And they went to the farmhouse, but they saw that Dren was about to die. When they reached there, Dren died. We knew that Dren's lifespan was low, and she died too early. In the next scene, we saw that Clive and Elsa buried her body. After burying the body, they saw that his brother came there, and he was here with another employee. His brother also worked at the company. He said to Clive that he knew that they had created a creature which looks just like a human, because the protein that you gave the company has human DNA in it, and I want to see that creature. Elsa and Clive told him that the creature had died. We've just buried her body. But then suddenly, they heard a scream, and the scream was coming from the place where they buried the body of Dren. All of them ran to that place, but they saw that Dren's body was not in her grave. She was standing on the rooftop. She had resurrected herself. Now she has become more powerful and dangerous. She has grown a new pair of wings and a tail. Dren killed the employee and Clive's brother. Clive became unconscious after seeing this, and Dren attacked Elsa. In this scene, we found out that Dren had changed her gender as well, because he had the DNA of that creature which they created earlier, and now, Dren has become a male. Dren was forcefully trying to have sex with Elsa, but then Clive stabbed her with a wooden stick. Dren got injured from this and left Elsa, but after some time, she took out the wooden stick from her body and attacked Clive. And Elsa took a rock in her hand and hit Dren with it. She hit her with it again and again. But suddenly, she stopped. She was thinking that we have created her with our own hands, and now we are killing her with our own hands. Elsa also realized that Dren had her own DNA in her body. But after getting the chance, Dren killed Clive with her tail. And Elsa again hit her with that rock, and she died. In the next scene, we saw Elsa and her boss. Elsa was about to give birth, and the father of that baby was Dren, because Dren had changed his gender. Elsa's boss told her that the protein that you gave the company has helped the company to earn much profit, and the company wants to keep on going with the research that you guys have started. They can keep this research going with the baby in Elsa's belly. Elsa had worked hard for this company, she even lost her husband. The company gave her so much money. Since Elsa was a genetic scientist, she agreed with them for the research. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, I will say, stay safe, stay well, thanks.